hey guys welcome back to my channel i know that i'm looking a little bit raggedy um bear with me um i know i've not been posting in a couple of weeks i'm not gonna say what is happening right now in nigeria affected my posting no it did not um but it has really affected a lot of things um in my life um mentally physically but um i want to tell you guys what is currently going on in nigeria right now um, I've been really vocal about it on my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and I realized that YouTube is the only place I haven't really gone to. So I want to, you know, make a video, just a short video, nothing big, nothing long, basically informing and educating my non-Nigerians out there. Um, because I know I have subscribers from a lot of places in the world, and so I want to just educate you guys on what is going on right now in Nigeria. So, um, over the past couple of days, about 12, 13 days ago, um, the youth of Nigeria, they started a peaceful protest um, against what we call SARS. Now, SARS is a special anti-robbery um, squad um, in Nigeria. It's a unit in the police force um, that was created to eradicate um, armed robbery, um, basically to protect the citizens of Nigeria. Now, what that special unit does is they stand on the road um, and they extort the Nigerian youth, they kill them, they harass them, they rape them. Um, if you're someone that has an iPhone, you're a target. If you have dreadlocks, you're a target. If you have piercings, you're a target. If you look nice, you're a target. If you have tattoos, you're a target. If you drive a nice car, you're a target. So basically, that's basically everyone in Nigeria. I mean, Nigeria, Nigerians are people that, they don't let you know that they are suffering. You see a Nigerian right here, looking nice, dressing nice. You don't know who that what that person is going through. You don't know what that person is going through at all. And and we don't we don't like telling people what we're going through. You, we will bath for, we go bath, we will dress nice, spray nice, smell nice, use the best phones. But seriously, our lives may not be perfect. But, you know, the, the SARS, they see us and... They see a target. They see someone that they can extort money from. They they immediately assume that you know you're a yahoo yahoo boy. Now a yahoo boy is is someone that you know scams people online. Um, um, a cyber criminal. That's what we call yahoo in Nigeria. And when they see someone, a young you know young youth looking nice. They just assume that you're a cyber criminal. They just assume that there's no way you can look this good. They assume that there's no way you can look this nice. You have to be a criminal. You have to be a cyber criminal. They extort money from you. Sometimes they will drive you straight to the ATM for you to take out money and give to them. Sometimes they will do a mobile transfer right there. They will rape you, be it female or male, because I've heard numerous stories. They will rape you. They will kidnap you. They will kill you. I mean, there are stories. And the past 12 days, we've heard a lot of killings. And Nigerians had enough. You know, at that point, we were like, enough is enough. Enough is enough. You know, we came out peacefully. Celebrities came out. We had a lot of support from people, you know, to peacefully protest. We had online and offline protesters. I'm not currently in Nigeria, so I consider myself an online and SAS activists and online protesters because every single day I'm basically making my, my, my followers aware on what is currently going on in Nigeria. Based on the United Nations law, if a protest lasts for 30 days, um, the UN will step in. And so we were all rooting for that, but we realized that um, Nigerian politicians, the government, they were feeling the heat. They, they didn't like that. They didn't like the idea of this protest you know, elongating. And a couple of days ago, um, there's something called Lekki Togit. You know how, you know, when you're traveling to another state, another city, another place, you pay tolls? That's what Lekki Togit, Togit is. Um, it's a very big place, you know, when you pass, you pay to, you know, go to the next, your next place. Um, and so because of the protests, um, the Lagos states apparently lost 720 billion naira. I can't even quantify that in dollars for you guys to understand. Um, if I say that in dollars, I probably may be right. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's over a hundred million dollars. Okay, because it's over 720 billion naira. Um, the Nigerian currency is one dollar to 
um, three hundred and fifty naira, be three hundred and sixty naira. Um, so you can do the calculation. I may be wrong. I just threw out a number there just for you know my non Nigerians to really understand um, how much the Lagos government lost. So um, they, they they saw that they lost that much money, and they were like, you know what? We can't let this protest go on any longer. We can't let this protest, you know, go on any further because we are losing money. They didn't want to listen to our um, our cries. I mean. During the protests, we came up with five things for the, the five things that the government had to do. Five things: compensate the families, the policemen that harassed, killed the youth, has to be apprehended and brought to book. Police reform. The SARS initiate the SARS um, officials, all of them five. As in, we came up with just five things for them to adhere to. We didn't kill anybody. We didn't shoot anybody. We didn't loot, we didn't destroy properties, we didn't destroy lives. We were out there peacefully protesting. Peacefully protesting. I mean, you can go online and click on the hashtag, you will see pictures and videos. We were peacefully protesting. On last week, Friday, um, um, the Muslims, they prayed on Lucky, Lucky Toll Gates. On Sunday, the Christians, they did their service there. It was not. It was not. It was not a a, a, a a violence protest. We were peaceful to the core, as peaceful as we can be. As peaceful as we can be. The Lagos government, they, they felt the heat. They were like, you know what? We are losing money. We can't let this thing go on. We can't let this thing go on because we are losing money. And if it gets to thirty days, who knows? The UN might step in and mess all of us up. And so yesterday, 20th of October, we saw a picture just flying around of two men that came to disarm um, surveillance cameras. And to be honest, uh, every Nigerian, I'm pretty sure, that, that, that picture went viral because we were kind of confused, like, why are they disarming surveillance cameras at Lekki Toll Gates? Are they trying to hide something? Um, that was everybody's, you know, question. Because it happened in the morning yesterday, you know, the, the picture of the men disarming, the, 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 the surveillance cameras were all over. And we were really confused. And then it happened. It got to night time, they turned off the lights, the street lights, everywhere was dark. They sent our soldiers to where the peaceful protesters are in Lekki Togate. And they were shooting an, at unarmed protesters. They were shooting at unarmed protesters. They killed over 78 people. And many more injured. Soldiers. Prior to that, we heard that we got um, reliable intel that um, if you hold the Nigerian flag, the soldiers will not do anything. If you hold the Nigerian flag and you're singing the national anthem, the soldiers will not do anything. That was a lie. I mean, it's not a lie in, in countries that actually adhere to laws. It's not. But in Nigeria, the soldiers didn't care. The soldiers didn't care. They didn't care if you had... They didn't even care. They were shooting at peaceful protesters that were holding the flag and singing the national anthem. They were shooting at people that did not have any gun. They were shooting at people that had nothing to protect themselves apart from the Nigerian flag. They, they were shooting people. They killed over 78 people and we watched it all on live. We saw someone take their last breath on live. Instagram live. Nobody told me. I didn't hear it from anywhere else. I saw it live. The army men. They were shooting unarmed citizens for only protesting for their fundamental human rights. They are protesting that they don't want to be killed anymore. They are protesting that they don't want to be brutalized anymore. They are protesting because they don't want to, they don't want to be, 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 be profiled anymore. But the government failed them. And then reaching this morning, we heard that the military men went to police stations to kill the remaining witnesses because they didn't want them to go out. And mind you, after shooting and killing almost everybody there and injuring a lot of people, they, were, they sent people sent ambulance. It was all over Twitter, Instagram, 
you know, help, we need ambulance. They sent ambulance. Guess what? The soldiers did not let the ambulance through. And a young guy lost his life because of that. Soldiers did not let ambulance through. Soldiers did not let emergency crew through. Soldiers did not let anybody that wanted to even donate blood through. Soldiers did not let anybody through. And someone lost his life because of that. And this morning, the, the um, Lagos State gov Governor came out and said no fatalities were, were, were recorded. Basically lying, saying no one died. When we saw people die right in front of our eyes. It was plain premeditated murder. Because you guys turned off, you guys disarmed the, the surveillance cameras. You guys turned the light off. Because you guys knew what you guys were going to do. So, I want to indulge everybody to pray for Nigeria. I mean, if you need, I'm, I'm not, I can't tell you, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of things I didn't say. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of places I didn't touch. Um, currently, right now, they are still shooting people. People are dying by stray bullets, even in their living room. They are not outside. They are not outside. People are dying in their house, in their houses, by stray bullets. I'm not going to touch on everything. I just wanted to just come and, you know, tell you guys what's going on in my country. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't have, a, I don't, I'm pretty sure you guys don't have me on your Instagram or your Twitter and you guys don't know what's probably going on. I don't know if you know, I don't know if you don't know, but... I just came here to just tell you where you are, just pray for Nigeria, because Nigeria is going through it right now. I mean, Africa is going through it right now. If I even want to start talking about what is going on in Congo, in Ghana, like, I won't even end this video. This video will be longer than it is. Let us just keep, you know, Africa in our prayers. I don't know. If, if, if you're really interested in what's going on in Nigeria, you can go on Twitter, you can go on Google, type in NSAS, you can, um, Type in just what is going on in Nigeria. Just type in. You see, read up on it and be informed. Don't sit back and just, you know, just look, be looking around like what is happening. Just go and read up on what is actually going on in the world. Like, people are actually going through it right now. People are going through it right now. So I, I implore you guys to go out and do your research and find out what is really, really going on. If you're a Nigerian in diaspora and you're watching my video, I don't even know if you're going to watch this point because I'm pretty sure the video is going to be long. But please, please and please keep on retweeting. Just because we can't go out to protest right now. In Nigeria, I mean, because we can still go out and protest in outside in outside Nigeria. But just because we can't protest doesn't mean we cannot retweet, we cannot tweet, we cannot repost, we cannot post. Let's keep, you know, keep the energy going. Let's um, keep the momentum going because trust people in Nigeria need, need us. They need us. So we, we have to keep on pushing and be strong for them back home. Thank you all for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Um, if you have any comments, um, please, I will not be listening, I will not be reading any insensitive comments. Um, I will not be reading anything that is, is not relating to what I just said. If it's, if you have any comments that is insensitive, um, please don't even bother to comment. You can, you can unsubscribe to my YouTube channel, please. i rather have people that support me, support what I'm talking about, do their research, than have people that will come and insult me and, and say insensitive things right now. Thank you very much because people's life are in, lives are in danger back home. My, my family's life are in danger back home. My friends, my, my everybody, their lives are in, in, in danger back home. I just came on YouTube to tell you guys what's going on. Trust me, because I know a lot of you are not on my, on my Instagram. So that's why I'm here to just basically enlighten you guys. But thank you so much for watching. Um, if you watch this video to this point, thank you. You're the real MVP. I love you so much and God bless you all.